Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to a nice little quick look of Pokemon the Trading Card Game for your Game Boy Color. Where we last left off with the Pokemon Marathon, we just finished Hey You Pikachu, right? And what's really awesome about this is that, so, Hey You Pikachu came out, what, December 12th of 1998, I want to say? And literally... Six days later, on the 18th, in Japan, Pokemon the Trading Card Game came out, right? So, if you were a kid at the time, not only that you had a nice little, a nice little uh, trading card game, you also get to play with Pikachu in the most stupidest way possible. But, <laughs> time to move on to the next entry within our Pokemon Marathon. No, this will not be a full playthrough. I honestly don't even know what a full playthrough of this game looks like, because... My knowledge of Pokemon, the trading card game, both on the GBA and, uh, GBA, uh, fuck, it rolls off the tongue, right? On the GBC, my bad, uh, my knowledge on that and just the, uh, trading card game in general is very little. The extent of my knowledge for the trading card game was when I was a kid, uh, you know, my mother thought, you know, she knew I liked Pokemon, right? She bought me a bunch of, um, VHSs of, like, the, you know, the VHSs that came with, um, that came with, uh, like, three episodes on them, right? So I had, like, a bunch of those, right? A bunch of those tapes. And then, I guess she also bought, like, the trading card game one, thinking it was a movie. But it was just, like, a tutorial, an hour-long video, I think, tutorial of how to play the trading card game. And I sat there and I watched the whole thing, and I was like, well... I gotta give me some of these cards, right? Luckily, my uh, local deli and gas station had some, uh... <laughs> they had some trading card games that... Uh, trading card games. They had some trading cards that also came with, like, the shitty fucking super stale, like, thin pink piece of fucking gum that would crumble in the packet before you can even open the damn thing, right? So, I had a handful of Pokemon cards, you know, uh, but more importantly... I was rocking with Yu-Gi-Oh, because I had a shit ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which would suddenly disappear one day when I come home, and I would go, where's my Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And my mom went, oh, those little cards you never touch? I threw them out. And I was like, mm, feel the pain? <laughs> right? But anyways, Fire is crazy about Pokemon and card collecting. One day, Fire heard a rumor that there's a Mew under the fucking truck. Some people don't even know if it's real today. <laughs> the legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. The Grand Masters are searching for one to inherit that legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Fire visits the Pokemon card registry... Uh, registry? My bad. Researcher... Doctor... There's a researcher for fucking cards? Okay. Dr. Mason. Oh. Oh, there's an overworld map. Oh, this is a whole fucking... Oh! This is a whole ass fucking game! <laughs> it's not just like, fight the computer, okay. Oh, why the rush, Fire? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with the practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck. And now, you need an opponent. Hey, Sam! Hey, Samwise! Get your bitch ass over here. Play with him for a while. Uh, yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Fire. Okay, let's give it a try. That's what Sam sounds like. He's a loser. He exists to lose. Is my character wearing a bandana? That's pretty sweet. Hey, Fire, hurry and come here. First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Fire, what do you want to ask about? A lot of things, uh, if I'm going, okay, so, I'm not sure how much Pokemon the trading card game has changed throughout the years. All I know is that you have VMAX things now, right? And probably maybe some weird evolution thing in the card game, I'm not sure, I don't know, right? Um, but, <laughs> I want to point out, Probably the only, like, card game, like, car trading card video games that I have played throughout the years. Uh, my first one probably was Kaijudo, 
uh which is um kaijudo was what they rebranded it as what wizards of the coast tried to rebrand that card game as but um it's called dual masters right dual masters yeah dual masters uh, you know, I had the GBA game for that, and then I was playing, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Duels, or whatever the fuck it was, on the PlayStation 1, I think. And then, what other trading card games that I had, um, I wanna say, ooh, it's pretty much it, right? I played, and, like, because most of the time if I was gonna play a card game, I was gonna play the real thing with someone else in front of me. Um, so, I guess... The only other trading card games I probably ever played was, uh... The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game that was, like, on the PSN store? I still have it. And... I guess you can say Bakugan on the PS2? But that wasn't really... Most of the time, you were controlling the Bakugan. Like, not the monsters, but the... But the actual ball, right? Your character would throw it and you would go on a stage and, like, move around and shit. Right? Bakugan is the most stupidest fucking card game I've ever, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but I think that's the extent to my, uh, card game knowledge, right? So, um, in Pokemon Trading Card, I know you need energy to do certain things. Attacking, retreating, you can retreat? Evolving Pokemon, using Pokemon power, ending your turn, win or loss. So, okay, well, let's, let's start with attacking. Because I know energy is just, you need energy to do shit. Um, energy tokens, and then you gotta flip a coin a million fucking times and some bullshit. Pokemon damage defending Pokemon by attacking. Pokemon need energy cards in order to attack. For example, the energy required for sneaking... For sneaking? Oh, for Sea Kings! <laughs> Waterfall is, uh, water and light. Light or normal? Probably normal. I think that's normal. Water and normal stands for one water energy and another energy card of any type. Okay, so, you know, energy... Okay. Standard energy. The energy required differs according to the attack. Okay, what about energy? In order to do anything, Pokemon must have energy cards. If no energy cards are attached, the Pokemon will not be able to attack or retreat. There are one types of energy cards. Grass, fire, water, lightning, psychic, fighting, and colorless. They call it colorless? Really? Just... I don't know. Just call it... Just call it normal. I don't fucking care. The type of energy requires depends on the Pokemon. Be sure to learn which Pokemon requires which type of energy. Retreating. To switch your active Pokemon with a bench Pokemon, choose the retreat command if the active Pokemon is in danger. I think you mean danger. <laughs> move, it back to, uh, move it back to your bench. Energy is required in order to retreat. The number of energy cards required varies depending on the Pokemon. There are three types of Pokemon cards. Basic Pokemon, Stage 1, and Stage 2 Pokemon. Squirtle is a basic bitch. Everybody talking about how Charmander is basic, but Squirtle? Basic. You like Squirtle? You like Blastoise? You're basic. <laughs> Squirtle is basic. War Turtle is stage 1 and Blastoise is stage 2 Pokemon. Basic Pokemon are the only cards that can be put directly into play. A basic Pokemon in play can evolve into a stage 1 Pokemon. A stage 1 Pokemon in the play area can then be evolved into a stage 2 Pokemon. Therefore, Squirtle's need, uh, Squirtle needed... And, wow. Squirtle's needed in order to play War Turtle. And War Turtle is needed in order to play Blastoise. Some Pokemon have special abilities called Pokemon Powers. They raise their hand to the sky and say, Give me your energy. <laughs> some Pokemon require... Uh, some Pokemon par... Uh, fuck, I can't read no more. Some Pokemon Powers are used as soon as the Pokemon is played, while others must be used by choosing the Pokemon Power command. There are many different Pokemon Powers, so read each card's test carefully. Your turn ends after you attack. If you do not have enough energy to attack, or if your Pokemon, or if your active Pokemon cannot move due to the paralysis or sleep, you can end your turn by choosing the t done command. This will cause your turn to end and your opponent's turn to begin. You should choose done if you are unable to do anything, like it's Gwent. Win or loss of a duel. Generally, the win or loss of a duel is decided by pri is what? Generally, the win or loss of a duel is decided by prizes. Prizes are cards that you may draw when you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon. You win if you knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes to be drawn. You will lose the duel if you have no cards in your deck at the start of your turn or if there are no Pokemon in your play area, so be careful. Wait, if there's no Pokemon in your play area? So if... 
So, you can't just draw them again? Right? I thought he was gonna say that there's no Pokemon to play, period. But if they're not in your area? Okay. Alright, well, only explaining can do so much. I learn by doing, so let's start doing. Is that all? Yeah, pretty much. They say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play- so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, just try to learn the basic steps. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, I'll beat you senselessly. <laughs> you won't be able to proceed. It might be easier if you read the Pokemon Trading Card Game Instruction Booklet- Oh god. Physical games don't come with fucking booklets anymore. They don't come with manuals anymore. I'm sad. <laughs> it makes me sad now. Because they're like, they're like, read the instruction manual online, download it onto your console, or your fucking, <laughs> or your fucking PC, and it's like, why would I do that? I mean, strategy guide still exists, right? God, I only, I only ever bought one strategy guide. Let me stop talking for a moment and play the fucking game. <laughs> instruction booklets uh, will be, wait, what? Instruction books are while we play. Okay, then let's start your practice game. My god. Looks like a true 2000 scientist from an anime. <laughs> Tech Sam, Sans practice deck. Since this is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. Each player will draw one card. I mean, seven cards. One card. <laughs> Choose a basic Pokemon to place in the area. Goldeen, Staryu, Seeking, Psychic Energy. Draw one card. Uh, draw seven cards and get ready for the battle. Choose your active Pokemon. You can only choose basic Pokemon as your active. Okay. So you can choose either Goldeen or Staryu. For our practice duel, choose Goldeen. But I want Staryu. Goldeen level 12 was placed in the arena. You may choose up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. Next, you, uh, put your Pokemon on your bench. Wait, what? Next, put your Pokemon on your bench. You can switch bench. Okay, alright, so... They're kinda like... Working like Pokeballs, you know, your team. Only can carry, what, six Pokemon at a time, probably? You can switch bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Again, only basic Pokemon can be placed in your bench. Choose Star you from your hand and put it in there. Star you place, uh, place Star you in bench? Okay. It's kind of- I'm not gonna lie, it's a little hard for me to read the, the fucking text, because it's like all smushed together. That and, you know, Game Boy Color screen being as bright as it is, <laughs> it's killing my eyeballs. When you have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button. But what about my Seeking? Okay. Placing the prize. Please place a prize, or two prizes. A coin will be tossed to decide who plays first. All right, if heads, fire plays first. I guess that's heads. You play first. My turn. Draw one card from the deck. You drew water energy. To use the attack command, you need, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu and select a water energy card. Next, choose your active Pokemon, Goldeen. Press the A button. Then the water energy card will be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting an attack command. Choose attack from the menu and select the horn attack. Alright, so choose hand from the menu, select the water energy card, attach a water energy card to your active Pokemon, choose attack from the menu and select horn attack. Alright, so hand, water energy, play it, give it to Goldeen. Okay, then attack, then horn attack. A job level 20 took 10 damage. Sam's turn. Draw one card from the deck. Sam is thinking. Attach fire energy to Machop. Machop's level 20 used low kick. Goldeen took 20 damage. Ooh. Okay. Drew water energy. Your Goldeen's gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it. GC King from your hand and attach it to Goldeen. Evolve it, its HP increases from 40 to 70. Your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy card to Seeking. Psychic? Why? 
Uh, star means any energy card. Now you can use Waterfall. Keep the water energy card for the other Pokemon. Now let's attack your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. Now let's play the game. Okay, so go to hand, choose Seeking, play Seeking, put it on Goldeen. Right? Goldeen evolved into Seeking. Then go to hand, Psychic. Again, why does it need Psychic? <laughs> Attach Psychic Energy. Oh, okay, wait, I get it. it. Okay, it's using Psychic Energy because the attack says it needs any energy. Okay, I- alright, I get it. Okay. Seeking so use Waterfall. Took 30 damage. Get fucked up, my chop. Sam is thinking. Place Rattata level 9 on the bench. Fighting energy to Rattata. The chop. Use low kick. Seeking took tw uh, 28 damage. Uh, 28 damage. My bad. <laughs> Seeking took 20 damage. Alright. Okay. Use your water energy. Seeking got enough energy, so you don't need to attach any more. Attach energy cards to your bench Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attach a water energy card to your bench Staryu. Next, select the attack man. Machop has 10 HP left. Seeking Swan Attack will be enough to knock it down. Now choose Seeking Swan Attack. Now Machop has 0 HP and it's knocked out. When you knock out the defending Pokemon, you can pick up a prize. Now let's play the game. Okay, so... Head to my hand, right? Water energy, play, give that to start you. Okay, but, hmm. Okay, one question. Horn attack is 10, water is 30. How do I check? Check. Play area. How do I check how much energy I have for my Pokemon? Right? Or is it saying that Waterfall does 30 damage? It shouldn't do 30 damage. What? I'm trying to find out what the fuck that number is. I think that says the amount of damage it does. I think that's what it is. Okay. Okay, so attack. Horn attack. Took 10 damage. Chop was knocked out. I will draw one prize. Hmm. I want this one. Water energy. Sand place for Rattata level 9. Okay. You know what? I can actually get into this. This is pretty chill. I mean, it's just, it's basically, it's basically, uh, I never, listen. I never play Magic the Gathering, but it's basically Magic the Gathering. Because Kaijudo was basically Magic the Gathering. <laughs> so, everything is Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Rattata evolved into Rakata... Uh, rat, Rakata... I couldn't speak. Attach Lightning Energy. Okay. 41. Ooh. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Ooh, I got a Drowsy. When all your Pokémon are knocked out and there are no Pokémon on your bench, you lose the game. Put Drowsy in the basic Pokémon you just drew on your bench. Attach a Water Energy card to Drowsy to get ready. Choose your Active Sea King and attack your opponent. Wait, what? Choose my Active Sea King? How, how can I choose Sea King? He's dead. Is he not dead? <laughs> Use Waterfall. Now let's play the game. Oh! I got one more Health Pip. Okay. <laughs> I thought my Sea King died. <laughs> Alright, so head to hand, then you just play Drowsy, right? Put you in the bench, head to hand, I got a shit ton of water energy, get that to Drowsy, right? Uh, and then just attack. Can I not, like, just... I mean, they probably won't let me do it in the fucking, um, you know... You may only attach one energy card per turn. Oh, okay, alright, see that's what I was trying to figure out. 
So use Waterfall. And Weaking Raticate. Okay. Raticate took 30 damage. This is actually pretty fucking fun, I'm not gonna lie. A part of me wants to do a full playthrough of this now. <laughs> But we don't have time for that. We have to move on with the Pokemon Marathon. Oh my god, I'm definitely gonna come back and play this game on my own time. This is fucking fun as shit. Select the Pokemon to place in the arena. Okay, replace it with... You got Drowsy and Staryu on your bitch. Choose Staryu as the active Pokemon. Here, press Select to check the Pokemon data. It is important to know your cards and the stats of your Pokemon. Now let's play the game. Great. So Staryu, get your ass out there. Draw one card from the deck. Drew a potion. Staryu evolves into Starmie. Let's get Staryu ready to use Starmie's attack command when it evolves. Choose the water energy card from your hand. Oh! Okay, so... You can prepare your Pokémon before it evolves. So that when it evolves, that turn you can attack with that. Okay. Attacking your opponent with Staryu Slap. Imagine if a starfish walked out from the ocean walked up to you, and just smacked you, and walked away. That would be something, right? <laughs> okay. Water energy. There you go, Staryu. Making you nice and wet. Right? Uh, and then... What the hell do you want me to do? You just wanted me to attack, right? Yeah, I guess I just attack. Did 20 damage. Sam's turn. Is there is there a point to the Pokemon's level in this game? Place level 20 Machop on the bench. Fighting energy to Machop. Radicate retreated to the bench. Use low kick. Okay guys, this is probably gonna be pretty weird for you. Um <laughs> <laughs> to you, it will seem like a second has passed, and suddenly my demeanor has changed. But to me, I've actually got interrupted in the middle of this recording, so now it's been like a handful of hours since I've been playing the game, and I don't, I don't even remember what thought I had in my brain at the time. So, we're still at the tutorial, right? Oh, shit. There we go. So it's my turn. Draw one card from the deck. Okay, I got a Seeking. Now recover Star U with the Trainer card. Choose a position from your hand. Now let's get ready to evolve it into Star Me. Also, attach a Water Energy card to the Star U. Attack your opponents with Star U slapped in your turn. Wait, what? Choose the. Wait, what? Choose the Potion card in your hand to recover Star U's HP. Attach Water Energy to Star U. Okay, so this turn, we're getting ready to evolve it into Starmie, right? So, potion, play it. Here you go, right? So it has three water energy, and then attack. Attach fighting energy to Machop. Alright, so I think, I'm trying to remember what my thought was last time, and I think I was just talking about how, overall, this is actually just a pretty fun game. Like, it's not... Hmm. It's not difficult, but at the same time, you know, you can feel, you can feel that, at some point, you can have some pretty fun battles in here. Now you have finally drawn a Starmie card, choose Starmie from your hand, and use it to evolve Staryu. You already attached enough energy to use Star Freeze. Star Freeze? What the fuck? What the hell? That's not a Pokemon move! <laughs> Attack your opponent with Starmie Star Freeze. You guys just making up shit now. Like it's Yu-Gi-Oh! That's a... That was a wonderful sound effect when I just evolved my fucking Staryu. I love that sound effect, that's great. Alright. So, Star Freeze. Paralysis check. If Head's opponent is paralyzed, Tail's not. Alright, so Head's. 
Okay, so status effects are affected by coin toss. You were attack you were putting a lot of fighting energy on that fucking Pokemon. Chop is cur cured of paralysis. I was about to say curd. Drew water energy. Now Machop has only 10 HP left. Let's finish the battle. Attack with Star Starfreeze. You knocked out your opponent. Pick up the last prize first uh fires the winner. Okay. Oops. Just finish it with Starfreeze. Paralysis check? Doesn't matter, it's dead. Chop was knocked out. Okay. Decision. You won the duel with Sam. I did. Basically, this is how the Pokemon trading card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to talk to Sam. It might be helpful. Let's practice again, too. This time was just practice, so I had you follow everything I said, but there are other styles of play. So try them out by choosing Normal Duel. Okay. Now then, let's build your deck! Did you bring your cards? Handle his cards. uh, handled. <laughs> Hand his cards to Dr. Mason. I want to call him Mr. Mason for some reason. Hmm, let me add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Fire, what kind of deck do you want? Uh, hello, did you not? Do you not catch my name? Please select the deck you want. Uh, hello? Well, first of all, we're not doing Squirtle because we're not basic. At least I remember that. And Bulbasaur, we had him, you know, we had Kushnander take the lead on the red and blue playthrough, so... Charmander, please. Okay, Charmander and friends deck. Here's the remaining cards. Get 30 cards. You should duel with many different people. Why don't you go off on one of the card clubs? There are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. I'm having flashbacks to, uh... Wh what's the card game in Final Fantasy VIII? Is it Triple Triad? Is it that one? In Final Fantasy IX, it's fucking Tetramaster, which, like, no one knows how that works, because fuck Tetramaster. Fucking Tetramaster. Sure, let's head to this mystery house. Why not? Fuck it. If you place Executor in Arena, but you don't have any energy cards, in this case, use Venusaur's energy... Uh, energy trams? Is that what it says? Trams to transfer grass. Oh, so is that like a... Okay, is that like an ability? Alright, give your opponent up to 160 damage. Ugh. <laughs> some, some crazy Pokemon card master exists here. So we have the Rock Club, the Lightning Club, Fighting Club, Water Club, we're not going there, Grass Club, Science Club. I guess Science Club would just be Steel-type? No, my bad. This is still Gen 1, Gen 2 hasn't come out yet, so Steel-type doesn't exist. Well, Science Club can't be fucking... It can't be Lightning, because we got the Lightning Club. <laughs> I guess Science Club is just like all types. Psychic, Fire... Hmm. And the Pokemon Dome. Challenge Hall. Uh... You know what? Let's have a Fire on Fire battle, why not? Well, getting the Fire Medal wasn't that hard. If I keep up... If I keep... Wait, what? If I keep... I had a hard time reading that. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Fire! What the hell is this guy's name? Randall? <laughs> Rondal? Romold? I can't tell if that's an N or an M. I think it's an N. What are you doing? Huh? That's a deck. Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon cards? Yeah? What? I can't believe it! You? The legendary Pokemon cards? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I already did. Alright, listen up. I'll teach you what it's about to inherit- Wait, what? I'll teach you what it's about? <laughs> I'll teach you to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. You must defeat the uh, the eight club masters and get the eight medals. Then you have to go to the Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the Grand Masters. There oh my fucking god. They really worked a Pokemon game into a fucking card game. 
There's no way you can do it. You might as well just give up and go home because the legendary Pokemon cards are gonna be mine. I already won the first medal. See ya, bitch. <laughs> you pushed me out the way. Why, hello, miss. Greetings, welcome to the Fire Club. This is a club for boys with the burning passion for fire Pokemon. That's me! Fire Pokemon have the greatest attack power of all Pokemon. Oh my god, no wonder why there's so many firefighting types. Fight me, bitch. You look a lot like red. <laughs> this is the Fire Club. We're guys with a burning passion for... Uh, uh, she said uh, she said that already. Trading cards get together for heated duels. Join the fiery fun. Would you like to duel John? You're going down, John. Four prizes. Let's heat it up. Oh, John, I'm gonna fuck you up. His angry deck? <laughs> Alright. Shuffling it up. Let's see what we got. I love how my character just has a bandana. I'm gonna be honest, he looks like the fucking main character of, uh... Dragon Quest Eight. Is it Eight? Yeah, it's Eight, right? The one where the dude has the bandana? It's the one that a lot of people seem to like. <laughs> I, was that the first one that came in the US? Alright, never mind. Let me stop talking about fucking Dragon Quest. Choose a basic Pokemon to place in the arena. Ooh, I already drawn Charmeleon. Well, I only have a fucking Rattata that I can put in there, so go Rattata. May choose up to five basic Pokemon to place in one bench. I don't... I don't have any other basic Pokemon. They're all evolutions. Place the prize. Oh, so the prizes are picked at random. Who's gonna go first? Please let it be me. <laughs> ah, shit. I go second. John's turn. Starting out with a Growlithe. I fucking drew a terrible, terrible... Oh my god. Finish with that attacking turn. Alright. Please give me something. Fire energy? Okay. Well, Rattata's normal, so it can just basically use anything. And since I'm not really using any type of fighting Pokemon, here you go, Rattata. Right? And then I guess I'll just straight up attack. Uh, go, use Bite. Took 20 damage. Okay, what are you using, Growlithe? Use Flare? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead! No! Come on, give me a basic Pokemon, please. You can't let it in this way. Oh my god. It's gonna end before it even started. Oh! <laughs> what a terrible... Oh, Jesus. I can't do nothing. I can't play anything. They started me out poorly. I need, like, a Charmander or something. Oh, fucking Christ. And I can't retreat because I don't got any other Pokemon to throw out there. I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> the, the fight is over before it even started. I don't even have, like, a potion or anything to, like, help me. Huh. I guess lightning energy. I mean, it's not gonna really do anything, right? All I can do is really attack. And it's gonna kill my Rattata. And I lost. <laughs> and I lost. Straight up. Rattata was knocked out. John won a prize. There are no Pokemon in my play area. I lost. <laughs> Jesus! Guess my deck is hotter than yours this time. Lucky bitch. They gave me nothing. Please select the deck. Modify it. Uh, I have a Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Caterpie, Metapod... Wait, no, I don't have those. What do I have? Wait. Oh, I do have a Bulbasaur. Okay, hold up. Alright. I gotta, I gotta figure out how this shit works. So these are the Pokemon I have, or... Okay, these are the Pokemon I have by type. So I have two Charmanders. Okay, two Charmanders, a Charizard... Hmm. Gastly's a psychic type? Oh, because they don't have any, like, fucking ghost energy, right? 
Ghost energy is not a thing. It, ghosts and psychic use the same energy. Huh. Okay, uh... Alright, let's, let's just... Uh... Confirm? What the fuck save? Return to original configuration? Yeah. Alright, let's start with a new deck. Start with a new deck. And Grass Energy. These are all energy cards. And these are all from uh, by Pokemon. Alright, so I want... Wait, why can't I... What? Charmander and Friends deck. Can I just, like, select deck? Okay. Okay, I'm confused, because I, I was thinking, like... I was thinking, like, you had to, you had to new deck. Huh. Okay, so you can't take cards from other decks. You have to just straight up use the deck. Oh, that's so weird. Alright, well... Shit. What's Professor Oak do? Discard your hand and draw one card. I'll oh, draw seven cards. Okay. Bill, draw two cards. Switch your bench Pokemon with active Pokemon. Computer search. Discard. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot in this game. Holy shit. Okay. As for energy, grass energy. Well, do I have any grass Pokemon on the field? If I'm not using any grass energy? Right? I would like to have two Charmanders. So I'm using all my fire types. Okay. I don't care for Raichu. Hmm. Zapdos? Why the fuck do I have a Zapdos? You can't just play a Zapdos, can you? That's a legendary Pokemon. Why do I have a Zapdos? You can't just throw it out, because it's... I wouldn't count it as a basic Pokemon, right? There's got to be, like, some special rule or something. We have some fighting. Huh. No, I guess I just... I guess I just got a bad draw that game, huh? Jesus. Let's try this again. Started me with like no fucking, with, like no basic Pokemon to put, to put out there. All right. Oh my God, Zapdos counts as a fucking basic Pokemon. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh Jesus. And since Magmar doesn't have an evolution in Gen 1, you can also put it on the bench. Wow, that's so fucking dumb. But cool. You cannot select this card. Yeah, you can't place energy. Alright. I play first. I got my choke. All right. Go, Growlithe! Go, Zapdos! <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay, well, Lightning. Give that to Zapdos. You can only draw one energy card per... per, uh, round, right? Oh, but you have to prepare Zapdos, like, a lot, though. That's the... okay. That's how you balance that out, huh? Yeah, okay. Alright, just making sure. Alright. Okay. Retreat. Three energy cards are required to retreat. Oh. Alright, done. I'm getting it. I'm getting it now.
Ooh, I got a Meowth! Nice! Okay, so... Let me just... Pokemon power. Snap those. Wait, how do I... Oh. I wanna check my end play area. Alright, so you need... Alright, so for Thunderbolt you would need four lightning energy and... Okay. Alright, I see, I see. So Meowth. Get on get on the bench, buddy. And then I don't have any uh Why does that say one? Oh it's stage one. It's a stage one Pokemon. Okay. Mm. I'll give it I'll give it to Zapdos, see if I can Zapdos has a lot of health. So, you know, if I can build up to 100. But that's like super lucky though, right? Attach energy to Rattata, so you're getting your Rattata to fight. Fire energy. The most I can do right now is just give fire to Magmar. And end my turn. Ah. I will draw two cards now. I got a Growlithe. And Lightning Energy. Okay. I will place Growlithe on the bench. And I will give Lightning Energy to Zapdos. I just need one more Lightning Energy and you're fucked! Growlithe's using Flare. That's okay. Just give me that lightning energy. Mmm, fire energy, fuck. Alright. There you go, Magmar. My dog is behind me and she's whining. <laughs> Computer search, discard two cards from other car- Oh wait, what? Discard two of the other cards from your hand in order to search your deck for any card- Oh, you son of a bitch. What'd you grab, Arcanine? Oh, Rattata. Oh shit, you're about to fuck up my Zapdos. Come on, Zapdos. I can't even blame Zapdos, I just gotta believe in the heart of the cards, right? Draw a bill. Bill? Come on, get me some lightning. Ha-ha! Aha! You're fucked. <laughs> you don't even know what hit you, buddy. You don't even know what hit you. healed up. Check it. And now, you're about to get smacked with this thunder. It tails 30 damage to yourself, too. Oh! One hit! Yikes! I will take this. Oh, I took a Growlithe. Use Bill. Draw two cards. John is thinking. Oh, Tauros. Nice. Attach fire energy to Tauros. Took 20 damage. Yikes. My turn. This is actually really, really entertaining to me. I want to check my Zapdos real quick because... Why... Okay, Thunder, flip a coin, see if you hurt yourself. Thunderbolt, discard all energy cards attached to Zapdos in order to use his attack. Oh, so that's what you do. Oh, they, they really handicap you with these legendaries. Okay, maybe I should have checked that earlier. Hmm. But you know what? Zapdos? I mean... In my play area, 
Let me see. Magmar. What's up with Fire Punch? Just straight up, discard one Fire card to attach Magmar, uh, wait, what? Discard one Fire Energy card, attach the Magmar in order to use this attack for Flamethrower. Okay. Alright. And Meowth. Cat Punch does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon chosen at random. Don't apply weakness or resistance for the attack. Uh, any other effects that would happen after applying weakness and resistance still happen. What the fucking what? <laughs> okay. Wow, there's a lot of rules. <laughs> but I can throw Growlithe um, in the play field, right? There you go. So Growlithe's out there. And I'm gonna get Fire Energy. Actually, I don't need to get Fire Energy to Magmar. I can just give him Fighting Energy for his Flamethrower. There you go. And then... I have nothing else to use, right? So I'm just gonna attack and see if I hurt myself or not. Come on, look at the Irish! Ha! Fuck your Raticate. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Way more than I should be. Oh yeah! Wow, that was a that was legit fucking. I wanna take a moment and say. That was not me playing it up. That was a legit moment of like, fuck yeah, I got him a chop. Now I can put my choke on the field. <laughs> oh shit. A Doduo. Attach fire energy to Doduo. You haven't attached any energy to your Toro, so you can't attack at all. All right, to hand. Place my chop. There we go. Not only that, you cannot evolve Pokemon in the same turn. Okay. All right, that's fine. Uh. There you go, my chop. Right, and then after that, time to roll the dice. Oh! Killed myself! Wait, what? Oh, it still damages them, but... Oh, wow. See, I thought the attack would automatically just redirect to me and not hit the other Pokemon at all. Okay. Oh, so it's just a win-win regardless. Aw, Cubone. Looking up in the stars, like it's staring at Mufasa. Dad, is that you? Mom? <laughs> Mother? Ah, oh, don't send the child onto the battlefield to die. Huh? Snivel? If the defending Pokemon attacks Cubone during your opponent's next turn, any damage done by the attack is reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. Okay. Benching or evolving either Pokemon ends this effect. Now <laughs> it cries. Okay. Oh, you gave me a potion. See, now... Now you just gave me no reason. Oh, damn it. I thought that would give me more. Ah, eh, fuck it. I mean, like, hey. Well, it costs three energy to just retreat or switch out, right? First of all. Evolve my Machop. Uh, retreat. Guess I'll use Lightning Energy to do so. I just want to throw Machoke out there, honestly. Hmm. How much energy did I give you? There you go, Machoke. Hmm. I still need two fighting energy for Karate Chop. What's with the- why does this have like a minus next to it? What the fuck is that about? Does 50 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on Machoke. 
I'm sorry, what? Does 50 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on Machop? Okay. So the more I get hurt, the weaker this attack is. Machoke does 20 damage to itself. Wow, Machoke, you just exist to die. <laughs> like, come on. I just wanted to see Machoke out there, see what happens. Wow, that's a, that's a terrible Pokemon. Yeah, uh, I guess my attack is done. I can't really do anything. Oh, that dude has one card in his hand. Another Snivel card? I mean, I can attack, right? So, I need another fighting energy. I could have kept Zapdos out there, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to. How much does it take to retreat? Three energy cards? Okay, I guess that's for, like, every Pokemon. Cool. I just wanted to see Machoke on the field. I know I could have, uh... I could have used, uh, whatchamacallit. I could have just used Zapdos and ended it. But I just want to play a little bit more, you know? Alright, I'm just gonna skip my turn then. What are you gearing up Tauros to do? I got like a scratch in my throat. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Uh-oh. Oh no. Alright. I had to cut away there. For some reason I got like a itch in my throat. And I was just coughing up a lot. <laughs> you know? Just randomly out of nowhere when your throat just like, I want to make you cough right now for no reason. And then while that was happening, uh, I ordered food. It got delivered while I was fucking dying, so that's fun. I drew Professor Oak. Oh, did I now? Okay. What the hell does Professor Oak do again? Check. Uh, opponent's player arena, your player arena. Wait, what? Glossary? Can I, like... Oh, here we go, check. Discard your hand and then draw seven cards. Uh, yeah, why not? Fuck it. I can use more cards. Alright, what's in my hand? Lightning Energy, Ponyta, Diglett, Arcanine. Arcanine. <laughs> I mean... Just the flex on him. Right? See, buddy, this what happens. This what happens. You thought, you thought you had it like that, right? Just because you had a lucky draw, you know. Just because you had a lucky draw before, and you beat me in the, in like fucking two turns. Oh, you suck. Ten times damage, nothing. I got another Diglett. Man, I really should have just kept Zapdos in there because I didn't expect Machoke to like have nothing. <laughs> I think I might have used all my fighting abilities. Hmm. Yeah, I got I got nothing, dude. I can't even attack and I can't even retreat. Yeah, I fucked myself on that. I don't want- I just wanted to flex on the guy. <laughs> Put two coins. This attack does 10 damage. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You suck. And you got one hit. Congratulations. You hit me. Finally. I got a Pikachu! Wow, I cannot retreat this Pokemon for fuck's sake, and this dude can't kill me, so... So now we're just waiting. <laughs> the waiting game. Okay, you got one hit. You got two hits, nice. All that work for 20 damage. Okay, that's one energy card. 
I need one more. Then I can retreat. I can switch out Machoke and then, I don't know, throw out Magmar? Or I can just throw out Zapdos. I mean, yeah, we can just throw out Zapdos again, really. There we go. Oh, 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 but that's lightning energy! Wait, don't I have three? Yeah, I do have three. What the fuck you mean I can't retreat? Fuck you, I'm throwing this out. Oh, wow. Okay, oh, that's what you mean. Oh. I thought it meant like I needed three energy in my hand. Oh, okay, well then, yeah. Fuck it. <coughs> oh, my throat itches again. Get the fuck out of here, my joke. And now Zapdos can't do shit, but Magmar can do everything. Oh yeah, I attached lightning on the on the Machoke to get me the fuck out of there. All right, flamethrower. Uh, I will discard fire energy. Took 50 damage. Get the fuck out of here. And I wend. Nice. Decision. You win. Great. Yeah, that was really hot. You're the greatest. Here, let me give you this. Let's heat it up again. You received the booster pack. Evolution. I got a Venusaur. A Golem. A Jinx. Oh my god, it's my favorite celebrity, Nicki Minaj. Gotta say that joke every time because it never stops being funny! Uh, energy Search, that's great. Rapidash, Pidgey, Squirtle. Ah, oh, now I'm the basic bitch. Thanks. Gust of Wind, Bell Sprout, Fire Energy. Okay. <coughs> oh God. Why? Why has God granted the ability for the human body to randomly feel like it's gonna die at any moment, at any time, for no apparent fucking reason? How have we survived this long? Another booster pack evolution. Check the cards. Oh, he gave me another booster pack. Okay, got Pidgeotto, Super Potion, Graveler. Ew, what the fuck is with its hands? It look... Ew. <laughs> it looks gross. War Turtle made me doubly basic. Ghastly. That's... It's not a Ghastly. That's... That's just... That's just Blackface. It's not a Ghastly. That's just Blackface. Gust of Wind. Caterpie. I love Caterpie. Look how adorable it is. Starmie. Fire Energy. Nice. Let's heat it up again. Great. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for the quick look, you know, spotlight video for Pokemon Trading Card Game. This is actually really, really fun. And maybe that's because I'm just a really, really boring person, and I love strategy and stuff like that. So, uh, <coughs> how the fuck do you even save this game? Config? How do you even save this Oh, Diary. There we go. I will definitely play this on my own time. I'm definitely gonna play this on my own time. But, as for the Pokemon Marathon, who knows? Maybe one day we'll come back and do it later down the road. But, as for right now, I don't feel like doing a complete playthrough of this game. Right? And I just want to move on to the next game. Um, within the Marathon. So, where the fuck are my notes? I got them. I found them. I found my notes. I got them. They're right here. I came prepared. I came to class prepared. You don't have to ask... I don't have to ask to borrow a pencil this time, teacher. You hear that sound? That's the sound of... That's the sound of... That's the sound of paper. That's the sound of real notes being tucked down. Alright, so... <coughs> Next time, we continue with the Pokemon Marathon. We're gonna take a, a grand look and do a full playthrough of the next game. Some of you guys may know it's a little game for the N64. It's called uh, Pokemon Snap. And oh boy, I am excited to play it because I genuinely love 
Pokemon Snap. As the cool kids say, it was my childhood. <laughs> that and Pokemon Stadium and Mario and Mario Party 2 and a little bit of Hey You Pikachu and what else did I have on my N60 Mario Kart 64? Yeah, you know, all that good shit. So next time we come to the Pokemon Marathon, we're going to be doing a full playthrough of Pokemon Snap. It's probably going to be like maybe four or five parts. It's not a long game. Hell, it might even just be three parts. <laughs> it's not a long game at all. And then uh, we're going to slowly work our way to two more uh, spotlight videos. And then we're going to do Pokemon Crystal, which I'm pretty sure you guys will find, you know, you guys will be happy that we finally made it to the second gen of um, a Pokemon, right? But we still got three more games to look at before we do that. So, you know, that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you see here, please leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, if you're gonna write a comment, tell me, did you ever play- Tell me what kind of fucking card play- uh, card plays? What the fuck did I just say? Tell me what kind of trading card games that you played, uh, growing up, or that you might still play right now. Because, I wanna say the closest thing to any, like, quote-unquote nerdy type thing that I've done, in terms of board games recently, is like, uh, play a little bit of D&D, and stuff like that. But that was like, that was before the pandemic, so... That was like three, what, three, two and a half years ago? Something like that? Jesus. <clears throat> but yeah, if you're playing any, like, card games or anything like that, or any cool-ass board games and shit like that, let me know. Also, just give me some recommendations. I'm always looking around for, like, some cool board games to fuck around with, you know, and play with some of my friends and stuff like that. But, yep. If you like what you see, please leave a comment, leave a like. It helps out the channel tremendously, if you can. Share it with your friends. Say, hey man, this guy's kind of cool. I'm kind of enjoying his shit. Uh, he's doing a Pokemon Marathon, and he does some streams over at Twitch. Uh, the link to the Twitch or whatever is in the description below. But for those of you who aren't going to check the description, it's twitch.tv uh, twitch slash firestorm0 underscore zero. And if you want to, you know, support me directly and stuff like that, try getting a tier one, uh, grab yourself a tier one sub over at Twitch, right? You get some emotes. You get a handful of emotes, actually. And if you got a, um, if you have Amazon Prime or whatever, you get a Twitch Prime sub free, you know, free of charge for you and stuff like that. And all that wonderfulness. You can also check out my Twitter, right? I post some stupid shit here and there. Currently, you're going to see a lot of shit about me talking about, like, I don't know, JoJo, Bizarre's Adventure, and fucking. And Xenoblade Chronicles 3, because I'm really, like, knee-deep in that right now. And maybe even some SMT5. I don't want to spoil that for people, right? SMT5 is, you know, it's SMT, right? Um, but yeah, that's all my links and, and things and stuff like that. If you got any, like, fan art you want to send, send it to the Twitter. You can either directly message it to me or, um, just add it, you know? And I'll take that fan art and throw it up at the beginning of the stream. And give you a shout-out and put your, you know, put your Twitter down on there and your handles or whatever stuff like that so that's pretty much it right so until next time as always i want to say thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care